How do you play the brand new official aimbots map from the original creator, Uletical? Well, to play Uletical's aimbots in CS2, all you need to do is head across to either uletical.com slash CS2 or aimbots.com, so aimbotz.com as such, which should redirect you to the download page over here, uletical.com slash CS2. Simply click aimbots CS2 at the very top and you'll be taken straight to this page here. Then you can click downloads here and you'll be able to download it right here here. Just click it and we can choose free download. Then slow download is fine and the download should be done in no time. Currently there isn't a workshop for CS2 where you can download the map directly from Steam but this is Uletical's official website and as you can see over here Mr. Uletical on Steam for CS2, aimbots for CS2, you can download it here. Pretty cool. When the workshop eventually does come around, you can download it from there directly. So, now that we've downloaded this file, all we need to do is extract it to our maps folder, which you can see over here. But that isn't absolutely everything. We also need to add hyphen insecure to our launch commands in order to play this map and have it work properly. If we don't, you're not going to be banned or anything, but the map won't load without it. And of course, there is an FAQ page, but you can read more about it here. Cool. So, we need to navigate to the game folder and place it in there. So, using 7-zip to open the 7-zip, Z file as such you'll see aimbots.vpk in here this is the new map file format if you don't have 7zip installed simply click this link over here then where you see 64-bit x64 download this run it and click through the installer then eventually when you're done try and open the 7z file that we opened earlier and if you see this great otherwise if it asks you what to open with simply right click the file open with and choose another app here then from this drop down either select 7's file manager or scroll all the way down choose an app on your PC navigate to C program files 7-zip and inside of him double click 7zfm.exe this is the file manager select it and choose always then it'll open up okay so I'm extracting the map file to our game directory for this in Steam right click CS2 hover over manage and click browse local files then in this new window him head into the game folder followed by CSGO then the maps folder over here once again, game CSGO maps, not CSGO maps. That's the old CSGO version, which you probably don't have unless you have the beta. Anyways, we need to extract just the VPK from our 7-zip file straight into this folder just by dragging and dropping it out. There we go. Now we successfully installed aimbots for CS2. Now right-click CS2, properties, and we'll add hyphen insecure as such to the very start. Just make sure there's a space after it if you have other commands. And of course, when you have this command here, you won't be able to play competitively, never mind online pretty much at all. So you'll need to return here, once again, right click add properties in order to remove just hyphen insecure for CS2 to work as normal. I'll click play and this should fire up the game. All we need to do now is open up console using tilde and type in map space aim underscore BOTZ and hit enter. This will load up the aimbots map, but of course not everything is 100% the same as CSGO. So you can see some weird things are happening. There we go. I can choose the team, CTs, and now things should mostly be working right. It looks a bit weird. Anyways, I think that's maybe advanced video texture detail probably. It's a bit improved. Texture filter Filtering. Yeah, that seems mostly readable. Okay, so I've raised my texture quality and texture filtering, and now these names are mostly legible. Anyways, this is test version one. You can get the latest version by scanning QR code, etc. But of course, you can pick weapons and play aimbots pretty much as per usual as you would in CSGO. Just now we're in CS2. Do note that most of the features don't really work, though some of them do, as you can see. So just keep that in mind as it's not going to be one to one the same, as there's weird differences in coding for CS2 versus CSGO, etc. But for the most part, it does work. Much like the timer works here, but there's no timer in chat, etc. These are all known bugs and things that are hopefully going to improve the future. So for now, you'll just need to use the timer over there by shooting the stop and start just to see kills per minute, time taken, kills out of 100, etc, etc. You can also change the settings here, but that's pretty much all that we have for now. Open menu for more options up here even, so you can really customize it as much as you want. Although the bots don't seem to be moving too much. They're crouching, that's for sure. Jumping. Oh, there we go. And they're moving. Cool. Anyways, you get the point. It's still very early in beta. This is the first release currently. The download in the future will probably be mostly the same. It's just that the CS2 workshop, when it finally comes around in a release, will eventually be able to download it directly there and hopefully not need to launch the game with hyphen insecure. Anyways, I'll quit the game for now 
and remove hyphen insecure from over here, just like that. Now, the next time I fire up the game, I can play competitively. Instead of editing this manually, however, scrolling down on the downloads page here, you'll see this over here. Simply copy all of this and on your desktop, we'll create a new shortcut. So right click, new and shortcut, then paste in the path. Next, enter a name, for example, aimbots, hit enter. And now whenever we double click this command here, it'll launch CSGO with hyphen insecure and it'll load up the aimbots map instantly. If Steam is installed elsewhere, just change the part between the quotation marks over here to the correct Steam location, etc. So I'll fire up the game using the shortcut on my desktop. You'll see that the game opens, shows the intro animation, and right after this, it drops us straight into loading the map and we can play as usual. There we go. Cool. So anyways, hopefully you found this video somewhat useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.